How is it going, everybody? I am Jason of Jason Drama here, and today I am here to discuss with you the latest news about the latest head coaching openings in the NFL. Now, there was a lot of firings this past Black Monday, which is known as the day when a lot of NFL teams say, we're going to be parting ways with this coach, they're going to be fired, and they fire him that day. Because a lot of seasons finish our, or a lot of teams finish our seasons that day, so no more need for the coach. Uh, but I guess without further ado, let's just jump right into this. So let's start off with a couple of openings that we have known for a little while here. Uh, we'll start with the Jacksonville Jaguars. They've had Urban Meyer as their head coach, and he was a complete train wreck. This man's probably never going to coach in the NFL again. At least, most definitely, he's not going to be coaching in the NFL anytime soon after the stunty bold in Jacksonville. Uh, so, yeah, he left behind a dysfunctional organization with a GM that no head coach wants to work with. So, the Jags are pretty limited on their options, and their options are not good. The, the two standout ones that could really hinder this franchise for me, Bill O'Brien and Doug Peterson. Yes, they would have a world-class quarterback to work with, a spectacular talent. Uh, in Trevor Lawrence, but I don't like the way that the future can go with the Jaguars if either of these two get their hands on the head coaching job in Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence's career will be shot, and he will not be looking good going forward. So the Jaguars are they're just a dysfunctional mess right now. Uh, up next, we also have another head coaching opening that we have known for a while, or even maybe not because of later developments. Uh, the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, John Gruden had to resign earlier this season in, as a result of the uh, NFL investigating the Washington football team, which led to some leaked emails between them and John Gruden, which led to a couple of emails from Gruden that were, let's just say, full of bad, bad no-no words. So that does not bode well for John Gruden. John Gruden retires as a result, or resigns as a result, likely to never coach in the NFL ever again. Now, the Raiders are the most ready to make the jump to become a Super Bowl contender out of any team on this list because they have they made the playoffs this season and they have a really good roster, a really solid roster going forward if they can retain these players. Now, the reason I say that they might not be looking for a head coach is because the current head coach of the Raiders is... Rick Bisacci, and Rick Bisacci has really done a good job at motivating this team and turning them around despite the Ruggs DUI, despite the Damon Arnett threatening situation, despite the, another DUI from, I can't remember his name, but it was one of the big defensive players in the Raiders. He has been the one constant. He worked under Gruden, and then he took over as the interim head coach. I can see the Raiders maybe trying to keep him. Or, if not, a couple of good fits I could see would be Jim Harbaugh or even Brian Flores, now that he's available. Uh, speaking of Brian Flores, let's move on to the biggest surprise firing of this season, the Miami Dolphins. They fired Brian Flores, which, it's a horrible move. Um, the only reason I could see it making any sense is if they tried to get Jim Harbaugh, but the front office has said they are not interested in Jim at all. So this means that the Dolphins are getting rid of Flores, not interested in Jim Harbaugh, they are looking for a new head coach that has not really proven themselves in the NFL. And there's a lot of question marks around that. Brian Flores was really taking this team and turning them around the good way. He was one of the few good disciples of Bill Belichick to turn around a team. And he has developed a winning culture in Miami. And sure, they didn't make the playoffs, but they rallied back from being 1-7 with a seven-game losing streak to winning eight of their last nine, including a seven-game winning streak. Uh, sure, a lot of that win streak was against tough opponents, but they beat the Patriots. They swept the Patriots, I think it was. So, <laughs> the Dolphins had a good future ahead of them, and they blew it by firing Brian Flores. And they have a good roster, but... Well, not a good roster. They have an all-right roster. But with them not looking for an experienced head coach, they're going to really be in trouble. Uh, up next, let's talk about the Chicago Bears. They had fired head coach Mike McCarthy. Not Mike McCarthy. Why am I why am I saying Mike McCarthy? Matt Nagy. They fired head coach Matt Nagy. And that was a good thing. Justin Fields needs a new head coach to really a good head coach to really motivate him and keep him going with the team because Justin Fields is good, but Matt Nagy could hold him back. So getting rid of Nagy really helps the Bears 
really attractive situation as Justin Fields is a really good raw talent, and he has proven that he can make big moves in this league. So really good situation if, uh, for the Bears' future head coach. They have been they were looking at Doug Peterson, but that is something I would hate to see because that's not a good situation as Doug Peterson failed Philadelphia after the Super Bowl victory. Next, we'll talk about the Denver Broncos. They had Vic Fangio. They fired Vic Fangio after a failure of a tenure. Granted, Vic Fangio did not have a quarterback to work with, but he didn't really do much to pressure the organization to give him a quarterback. Instead, he did nothing, and the organization just fired him because of lack of results. Now, the Broncos do have a decent roster. They need a quarterback. They need a bit better of an offensive line. They need another big-name receiver. They, But other than that, I mean, they are in a really good spot to make some noise. So a new head coach there would really be in a good situation, especially because I think the Broncos are going to look towards an offensive guy after having three years of the defensive Vic Fangio. I think it's an offensive coach's time here in Denver. Up next, we'll talk about the Minnesota Vikings firing Mike Zimmer after a average tenure, we'll say, making the playoffs every other season, give or take, and not really doing much in the playoffs. So that was a scene coming. The Vikings are a couple pieces away, in my mind, from really being a good contender. Uh, they need to really bulk up their defense a bit more, bulk up the offensive line, and have good quarterback play, and they'll be good. So... The Vikings do have a good situation for their next head coach, and I think that any head coach could really succeed there, apart from ones that have tried to literally tear apart an organization. We're speaking to you, Bill O'Brien. And finally, we have the New York Football Giants. They are in a full rebuild. They had fired Joe Judge after they attempted a rebuild two years ago. It didn't go well. Joe Judge was not really doing much. Gettleman was failing the team. Gettleman retires, and Joe Judge is fired. So the Giants really need to just clean house, fire everyone, trade the good pieces, get as many draft picks as you can to complement your fifth and sixth over or your fifth and seventh overall picks, and the Giants will be in a good spot if they can go through with that. Now, overall, I can see a lot of these vacancies. There's a couple coaches I could see for each of them. Uh, I didn't really want to delve too much into that into the hypothetical side of things because I pride myself on providing the news but not delving too much into the news. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys like the video, it's about all I have to say. So smash the like button, share the video around. It helps out a whole lot. But let me know that you liked it. And also, if that subscribe button right over here, down below here, is red, make it gray, and you'll have the wonderful knowledge of knowing that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And ring the bell, make sure you are doubly notified, or not doubly, but extra notified, making sure you get the notifications every time I upload a new video. And if you have anything else to say about any of these coaching openings, let me know down in the comment section down below, and I will try to get back to as many of you as, you, as I can, which right now, considering how small I am, is most likely everyone. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with a... Uh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday, so tomorrow is going to be predictions for the Wild Card Weekend. And then we're going to have a horns up on Saturday. So, yeah. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, and have a good one.